10 things you never noticed in Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. For 10, Diesel, the malicious and greasy protagonist introduced in Season 2's episode 12, Dirty Work, was not actually Diesel's first appearance in the show. In fact, a brief shot in the previous episode, Percy Takes the Plunge, Diesel makes a brief cameo in the background as Percy is being retrieved from the water. Number 9. Terence, the bright orange tractor introduced in Season 1, has several parts of his prop made from toys. Yes, that's right, Terence's caterpillars were actually sourced from the chank treads of a Tamiya 135 scale Targa 1. And funnily enough, a part on his snowplow, shown here, is a LEGO 1980s space jetpack painted orange and sourced from set 886 Space Buggy. Number 8. In Season 1, the milk tankers and tar tankers seen on screen actually used the same props and were used at the exact same time. How was this possible, you may ask? Were they repainted for each episode? And well, the short answer to that is no. Half of the tankers would be painted white, with blue tidbit milk lettering on one side, or the other would be painted black with the tar lettering in white. This is because of the small budget the crew had to work with during the production of Season 1, and by Seasons 2 and 3, many more tankers would be added to the collection of props the crew had available at their disposal, and tankers would be fully painted in their correct colours. These two-sided tankers would be the last seen in Season 2. Number 7. The ghost engine seen in Episode 24 of Season 5, Duncan Gets Boot, is a repainted version of Scar Lowy, painted in black before it meets its demise in the cold water below. However, once it is seen again in its ghost form after, well, it's died, it was repainted in white to give a ghostly appearance. Number 6. Thumper's prop, like Terence, also sources his caterpillar tracks from a toy, this being the Tamiya 135 scale KV-1C Russian tank. Number 5. Like the tar tankers and milk tankers of Season 1, there were several four-wheeled old green coaches that only appeared in Season 1, which were only painted on one side, while the other side was painted orange. Due to the other side not being repainted, they were regularly turned around for the filming of the first series, but in several episodes of Season 1, the orange livery can be spotted. Funnily enough, the orange side was never directly shown on camera, which leads me to believe that the models were acquired secondhand in a fully orange colour and were only painted green on one side to save time and money. Number 4. During the production of Season 4, the crew made the mistake of building Peter Sam and Sir Handel with their respective nameplates and filming the mid or railway scenes last, rather than peeling the original nameplates off the Stuart and Falcon nameplates replaced over the original Sir Handel and Peter Sam nameplates. This would have worked had it been the other way around, but as you would expect, the original nameplates were much longer than the Stuart and Falcon ones. They answered this issue by simply covering the original longer nameplates with black tape and then sticking the newer shorter ones over them with the final product looking a bit out of place. Number 3. Ever wonder why Sir Handel was pulling this odd mixture of coaches in a bad day for Sir Handel with one red coach and two green coaches? Well, during the production of Season 4, the crew had a hard time fitting all the mechanics inside of the narrow gauge engines as they were so small. So, to counteract this problem, they would skillfully hide any extra mechanics in trucks, vans and coaches. Well, since the battery and receiver for the iron mechanism could not be directly hidden in the open air green and cream coaches as well. Number 2. During the classic seasons of Thomas the Tank Engine, Boko and Daisy shared the same face moulds. Whenever any scenes with Daisy were being filmed, makeup would be applied to the face moulds, and with any being filmed with Boko, the makeup would be removed. Number 1. For the crew to save money, Daisy and Boko both shared a custom-built chassis. Daisy would have four wheels at the front, while when Boko was wearing it, 
it could be turned around to where he would have six wheels on the front bogey and four on the back. The back axle carried the motor while the front was unpowered so that it could be changed between a four wheeled bogey and a six wheeled bogey depending on which diesel was running the chassis. However, there's a lot of scenes in Thomas and a lot of photos of Daisy wearing the incorrect six wheeled bogey at the front with four at the back while she's only supposed to have four in the front and six at the back. 